And the teenager pleaded guilty to being the mastermind behind a deadly robbery more than two years ago. Madison McGall and her brother were both involved in the crime and are serving prison sentences. But it turns out a mistake was made on Madison's sentence and prosecutors want to fix it. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez shows us what the judge decided to do about it. Madison McGall was serving the wrong sentence in prison and it was time to fix it. But then another legal hurdle came up. There is nothing this court can do, unfortunately, either. Turns out McGall had filed an appeal on her sentence, and because it was still pending, the judge's hands are tied. It is currently still pending an appeal. I, I have been told that the defendant is going to voluntarily dismiss that appeal. But Madison was just 15 years old when she was arrested and charged with plotting an armed robbery with her brother, Henry McGall. That ended in murder. Prosecutors say Madison plotted the whole thing. She had the wherewithal at 15 years old to set up a robbery. That ended in the shooting death of Jesse Silver. She knew it was a setup. She knew her brother was coming with a gun. She actually reached into the car and grabbed the drugs during the course of the robbery. Judge, this is the actions of an adult, whether she's 15 or not. She did a horrible crime, and Jesse Silver is dead today as a result of that crime. The siblings' cases ended in plea deals. He should do the time, okay, and he did it maliciously. Henry McGall was sentenced to 25 years uh, in prison. I'm sorry. Under Madison's agreement, she was sentenced to five years in prison, followed by 10 years of probation to run consecutively for a total sentence of 15 years for her crime. However, that's not what happened. Madison was serving her prison and probation sentence at the same time, nearly cutting her sentence in half. The error was caught, and prosecutors wanted the illegal sentence corrected. With the appeal still pending, both but sides. But that will have to wait for another day. McGall will stay in the county jail in Tampa until it does. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Once the appeal is properly dismissed by the defendant, the judge will be able to move forward with fixing McGall's illegal sentence. Another hearing is set for next month. Well, tonight we have an update.